Hey guys, <laughs> I'm starting over. I went and hit the button again. Go figure. So, I just did a video for singles, and I, I didn't word it quite quite right. All right. So, this one I'm I'm wording it as you're ready for a family. It, it's more of a want now. It's not a need. Um, you're happy with who you are where you're at in life, might not even be looking and it will just happen, okay, it's more like one of those situations, all right, so, first card out, ten of pence, the universe is all right, now you're ready, no one on your mind, nothing holding you back, there's no feelings to interfere with the future, you're happy in the present moment, you're going to get the family. Some of you might meet someone at work. Then the hermit popped out. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with somebody who preaches. You could be dealing with somebody extremely smart or spiritual. A like-minded person. Then popped out the empress. You're ready. You're fertile. You've mastered all the queens. You've gone through a lot of work. You've soul-searched. You put in the time, you put in the effort, you are complete. You love yourself. No one can stop you. You're ready. Especially if you're ready to have a family. You know, you're ready. You're prepared. Some of you financially secure. Again, you could meet someone at work. If you meet someone at work, you guys might go into business together. You know? <clears throat> you got the Seven of Swords reverse and the Moon. You're, you're no longer looking at things that hurt you. You could be stepping into a blended family. Some of you could already have children, families, you're older. You're leaving behind what no longer serves you. You're going towards the future. You're not caught up on feelings. You're going towards the unknown. Some of you are definitely going to have a blended family. Some of you are already parents. An ex may not like what's going down, but that's okay, because you're like, you wouldn't be like, rah, 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 rah. you know, it would just be like, you know, you're happy, you're happy. Someone else might not be happy that you're happy. I really wouldn't worry about that. You definitely laid the weight down for something. So, ten of pence, please. Ten of pence. So yeah, the you might most you're definitely ready for a commitment. You've been wanting one. You you're getting one. If you're not looking for one, you're getting one. The next person that steps into your life. This is like. You might work together, um, especially with the Empress here. Okay. Um, it's going to be a commitment, teamwork. You guys will work good within the household. Like, for instance, say you, you have a farm or they have a farm. You're going to enjoy working in the farm or they're going to enjoy working in the farm. If this is a role model, somebody coming in, you already have children, it's going to be a wonderful role model. Whatever this is, it is kind of like final. Like this next person you meet for a majority of you is definitely the one. Could be somebody who just has a lot of Virgo in their chart. Taurus. Cancer Pisces.
but you're happy. It's a it's a special connection. Ace of Cups. It's definitely a special connection you're about to have with someone or this recently just happened. Tell me about the Empress. That's up to me. You got the Knight of Cups. That's somebody new coming at you. I will tell you, you got judgment here. This is also telling me this could be a second chance with a husband or a wife from a previous marriage. A second chance from somebody from the past. Or some of you, it's brand new and you're just ready. If it is a if it is somebody from the past, it's not. If I don't have them, my life won't go on. Like it's nothing like that. Like there was already a finality there. You know. So if it comes back around, it's like whoa. You know. Um, but for some of you, this person could have children. You have children. A special connection. Others of you, it's brand new. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. And it's ironic that, because the Seven of Swords, sometimes when it's reversed, um, could talk about the past coming back around and with judgment being right there. You might give someone a second chance or vice versa. And it will be, it will be great. You just got to be willing Tell me about the Seven of Swords. This would not be like you broke up two weeks ago and unless something happens overnight, you know. Um, yeah, the world. So it's it's like one of those let bygones be bygones. Like like I said, it was it was wrapped up. The past is the past. Time to go towards the future. Okay, not really letting anything bother you. Now, those of you, it's it's somebody completely new, but you're ready. But you're ready. Three of chalices flipped. All right, this is this is happiness. There's something with the moon and the stars. I don't know if you're dealing with cancer. I know the moon is Pisces, guys, but the moon moves cancer. Okay, um. So I can look at it both ways. Um, but this is celebration. Some of you it could be reconciliation. But this is this is happiness. This is celebration. See at the bottom of the deck? Ace of Wands. This is a really good thing. This is what happens when you finally get in tune with who you are. And you know there's something more than a, uh, it's more of a want and it, it's on its own terms than a need. This is when you definitely see the best in yourself. It's beautiful. Others of you, it's brand new. You could end up having children together. Could be somebody from a distance. Others of you, it's somebody who's going to want a second chance. And it looks extremely successful. This is something that is definitely done. It's not, I'm still considering. The other person could still be considering, and you might not even be aware of it. And if you are, it, it's, it's not getting the best of you because you know you had to move forward for your own happiness. You didn't hold on and wait. You chopped it up as a loss. And if you do take someone back, 
you know how to wipe the slate clean. You know how to walk in toward, you know how to go towards the unknown. You're no longer fearing the unknown. Or this is the other energy that's coming towards you, which is no longer fearing the unknown. This is who I love. This is who makes me happy. Possibilities are endless. I will tell you, for some of you, and I know I said this already, but it's a finality. This will be your last partner here on Earth. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a forever. It's a forever ever. All right, uh, additional messages. Queen of Pence, time to nurture, time to work. And this is like a modern day woman, you know. You're doing it all. Okay, I'm not taking three. You're worried about being financially secure? No worries. Looks like you guys will rent a house, lease a house, buy a house. Raise a family in a house, four of wands, holy stability. Okay. This would not be people that are stressing out over money or, or wanting or it's all about material needs. Nope. But you're going to have what you need and plenty to leave a legacy. Kids will be happy. You, someone might even build them a treehouse, depending on the age of the kids. Or even adults build treehouses. A nice, luxurious treehouse. <laughs> you know? Um, where it's like, no kids allowed, but you can stay down there and, and play. No, <laughs> that would be me. No, not yet. In ten minutes when I come down, you can have your time. You know? I don't know. But this is security within a household. Everyone's feeling it. Everybody's getting along. Especially if you're blending a family. That is a beautiful thing for you to be aware of. Okay? So, this either just all went down or it's going down. Alright? It's beautiful. Love you guys.